Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sail Agrawal. I am a final year undergraduate at IIT Gandhinagar. In this video, we are going to talk about a very important topic, which is to how to manage TSA with your college academics. If you are a student who is in first year or second year or maybe third year of BTech or maybe BCA, I don't know your degree, but I am a undergraduate BTech student, so mostly a BTech student will be able to relate with me. But that tips which i'm going to share in this video will be applicable to any college going student whether you are pursuing bca or bsc or uh, btech i'm going to share the top notch time management skills which i used to follow when i used to prepare for my dsa preparation along with my college academics uh, i used to uh, do my dsa preparation i was also quite active doing comparative programming on code forces at the same time i was performing very well in my college academics till date my cpi which is CGPA uh, after the end of seven semester is 9.07, which is I think quite good. So I think you can trust me now because I have a good CPI. I have also grabbed a good uh, placement offer. So I think you guys can trust me and I will share some of the tips which benefited me. If you follow that, you will see a massive, massive improvement in your college life. These are very basic things which you need to you know keep in mind when you are actually in your college many people ignore these and they later regret i don't want you guys to regret so that is why i'm making this video i have realized that whoever is watching my video uh, that is my audience is mostly uh, aspiring for getting a good internship or a placement offer in a top product based company so mostly i will keep uh, you guys in mind and i will try to make this video in that manner that how can you manage your DSA preparation with college academics? Uh, these are some tips which trust me, if you will follow, you will see a massive improvement in your DSA preparation as well as you will also see a significant growth in your CGPA. Some people might say you that CGPA does not matter. Please, please don't listen to these guys. CGPA does matter. You cannot have a CPI of 6 or 7 or 7.5 and think that you'll be able to sit in every top product based company. No, that is not the reality. The placement at IIT Gandhinagar is about to end and I have seen one or two companies which have kept a bar, CGPA bar of more than 8.5 and I have seen people who did not have that CGPA and were not able to sit on those companies despite having very good DSS skills, very good communication skills, very good development skills, very good resume that did not matter because they were not able to sit in those companies and there were many companies that kept a bar of more than 8 CGPA. So I think you guys can understand that keeping a CPI of more than 8.5 is the safest option and please don't uh, hover around 6 or 7 and 7.5 it will trouble you at the end. Uh, if you want to actually get an internship or a placement at a top product based company as a software developer then uh, no need to keep a CPI of 9.5 or 10 that is that is too ambitious because if you are if you're doing that then you will not be able to focus on your dsa preparation which is more important uh, when it comes to interviews when it comes to coding rounds so 8.5 cgpa and a good dsa that is sure shot possible i have done that i am here to tell you the tips please follow these and don't listen to your seniors who are telling that 6 or 7 or 7.5 cgpa uh, is okay no that is not okay just think that there are two people having the same dsa skills having the same kind of resume but uh, one guy having a CPI of 7, one guy having a CPI of 8.5. Who will the company prefer? You know the answer, right? So keep watching the video. I will make sure that from now, you'll be able to score well in your college examinations by not neglecting your DSA preparation. As soon as you are in college, there are so many things happening around you, right? There is so much of exposure which is given to you. There are, uh, you know, you hang out with your friends, you have relationships, you have parties, you have fests, you have clubs. There are so many things happening around you. And as an 18 or 19 year old student, you tend to get distracted by these immediate distractions. These are immediate distractions which are there to distract you. And, and on top of that, if you are living in a hostel, then you don't have your mom and dad uh, supporting you, you know, keeping an eye on you. And there is a high, high probability that you may tend to uh, distract yourself and forget about your goals, which you thought of that you will do when you are in college. Okay? I'm not saying they don't enjoy your college life. Enjoy your college life, have parties. If you want to enter into a good relationship, do that. Hang out with friends, right? Go to trips, but keep in mind, what is your goal? Don't neglect your goal. Set your priorities. Your first priority should be to have a good job, right? If you want to have a good job, if you just want to do a startup or do something else crazy, right? You do that. But 
have some goal in your life man don't just waste your college life it is very very important one who does not get distracted are the ones who enjoy their last year and the ones who did not have a good cgpa or who did not upskill themselves in the first second third year these are the ones who sit and cry in their room and think and regret that kash maine padhai kar li hoti kash mein thoda kam maze karta thoda sa kam ठीक है नो योर गोल सेट योर प्रायोरिटीज एंड यू विल बी फाइन सो लेट्स फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट कॉलेज एकेडमिक्स आई विल टेल यू सम प्रो टिप्स विच यू कैन फॉलो एंड स्कोर वेल इन योर कॉलेज एग्जामिनेशन सो ट्रस्ट मी कॉलेज एग्जामिनेशन आर टू इजी टू स्कोर मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल वॉट मिस्टेक दे आर डूइंग इज दे आर नॉट अटेंडिंग लेक्चर्स दे आर जस्ट स्लीपिंग इन देयर रूम्स वॉचिंग नेटफ्लिक्स नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग प्रोडक्टिव बाय नॉट गोइंग टू द लेक्चर्स ओके सो फर्स्ट थिंग प्लीज ट्राई टू अटेंड सेवेंटी टू एटी परसेंट ऑफ द लेक्चर्स इफ यू आर अटेंडिंग सेवेंटी एटी परसेंट ऑफ द लेक्चर्स एंड मेकिंग श्योर दैट यू आर नोटिंग डाउन ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स विच द प्रोफेसर इज टीचिंग एंड पेइंग सम अटेंशन इन द लेक्चर्स ट्रस्ट मी 70% percent of the course is done don't skip lectures and then say that okay i was not able to score uh, well in my examinations how will you be able to do man if i'm not going to the attending the lecture mostly in courses there is a portion of assignments and homeworks those are easy marks please don't lose on that uh, because assignments and homeworks are something which you can do in your room with your four to five friends right around you uh, you can discuss i know what you understand by discussion so okay, you can do that right so please don't lose marks on assignments they are the easy things to score uh, try to score full in the assignments and then you can handle your uh, min sum mid sums and sums and quizzes right please have good relationship with your seniors because let's say if you are taking a course your senior would have taken that same course uh, previous year and he or she may have previous year question papers so please ask them and take those question papers and try to solve them before examination because these professors actually they don't have new questions to prepare mostly they just what do they do is they just copy and paste those previous year questions and they ask you or if you have already done those questions you will be at a great benefit and you will be able to score well this a uh, trick has helped me a lot has helped many of my friends who have scored well uh, previous year papers are literally uh, the go to thing to score well in your end sums and mid sums examination there will be one guy who will be sitting on the first bench having a specs and making notes studying everything please have a good relationship with that make him or her your friend and before examinations or two week before examinations ask him or her to share their notes with them okay because uh, just take those notes and study them you are done man i have seen many of my friends doing this they come to me for my notes i also go to some people for notes right so this happens and trust me notes of your friend who is attending every lecture are the best thing to have before the examinations one thing you will tell that how much time to devote for college examinations so trust me mid sims and end sims are the uh, main thing right so i would say that like start studying one week before your mid sims start studying one week before your end sims that is suffice you don't need to study every day for your college examinations so i take that as two weeks for end sim two weeks for mid sim including your examinations that makes it uh, around uh, 25 days and if you have quizzes you can study the previous day right if you have quizzes on the next day you can study the previous day that makes it around 30 to 35 days so if your semester is 4 month long you are just giving 30 days to your uh, this examination thing and then you have rest 90 days to prepare dsa to upskill yourself to do some kind of development to do some kind of extra thing which you want to do right so you have ample time okay attend the lectures uh, at lectures attending will be 4 to 5 hours rest of the day you can do uh, dsa preparation or development right whatever you want to do so this is the main thing that have good connection with your seniors have good friendship with that first bencher and make notes attend lectures and pay attention to that and start studying a week before the mid sims and end sims and you will be good to go the most important thing which you guys should do before the start of a semester is to set your goals like what do you want to do do you want to start your dsa do you want to uh, start cp do you want to do some kind of development or do you want to do some other uh, side hustle set a goal because if you are not setting a goal before the start of the semester na as the semester progresses you will be uh, you know directionless Uh, by not setting a goal you are wasting your time so set a goal and actually let's say uh, you have weekdays and weekends right so on weekdays you will have classes so i would suggest you can easily give 2 to 3 hours 
of time to dsa preparation or to any kind of side hustle which you are doing right and then on weekends when you don't have your college you can i think you should ideally give five to six hours of uh, consistent practice of hard work to your dsa preparation or to development if you're going five to six hours on your weekends and then you have the whole saturday and sunday left right you can hang out with your friends you can do whatever you want right but giving that five to six hours is very very important so please do that don't waste your weekends don't waste your weekdays right one more thing which i want to tell you is that learn to say a no you don't have to attend all parties you don't have to be present in every fun activity which is happening around your college you don't have to be present there man please learn to say no if your friend is coming to your room and saying that okay let's do something if you think that okay no i want to do my dsa preparation or if you are having a side hustle then you can say no to him right learn to say no because if you are going to every party every trip you know every uh, random thing which is happening in your college man you will ruin your life okay so please learn to say no as a adult you should know your responsibilities you should know your priorities okay so this no is a very important word please please don't have a word like group study in your dictionary group study is such a big scam man if you think that you will be able to study with your friends <laughs> that is not going to happen man because as soon as you enter a room where you are having your five or six degree dost with you and you make a goal okay then now we will study for examinations bro that is not going to happen maximum you will study for half an hour after half an hour trust me you will talk about random things you will talk about bhai meri life mein chal raha hai ye ho raha hai wo raha hai पता नहीं कुछ भी बात करेंगे सो प्लीज प्लीज स्टे अवे फ्रॉम ग्रुप स्टडी आई हैव नेवर स्टडीड इन ग्रुप्स आई हैव मेनी 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 गुड फ्रेंड्स हु आई कैन स्टडी विद बट आई डोंट चूज टू डू दैट बिकॉज आई नो आई विल स्पेंड फाइव आवर्स ऑफ टाइम विद देम एंड आई विल नॉट स्टडी इवन वन आवर इट इज हैपन विद मी सो प्लीज डोंट डू दैट स्टे अवे फ्रॉम ग्रुप स्टडी बिफोर एंड सेम्स एंड मिड सेम्स एंड ओके एंड वन मोर थिंग दैट बिफोर एंड सेम्स एंड मिड सेम्स इफ यू आर थिंकिंग दैट द लोड इज इंक्रीजिंग दैट यू कैन स्टॉप योर साइड एसल यू कैन स्टॉप योर डेज इन प्रिपरेशन फॉर सेवन डेज दट डज नॉट मैटर बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू शुड गिव अ टू टू थ्री आवर्स ऑन वीक डेज एंड फाइव टू सिक्स आवर्स ऑन वीक एंड दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट and the last thing which i want to share is about the summer vacations which you have right and the summer vacations is the best time to upskill yourself because in iits you get 3 month summer vacation and a 1 month winter vacation so essentially it is like 4 months of no college so you are absolutely free so please don't waste uh, this time this is the most important time this is the time where you will upskill yourself this is the time where you will grow because when you are in college you have your friends Uh, with you you have college academics with you so uh, you are not able to give that much of time but in vacations you are completely free so try to utilize your vacations in a very uh, productive manner that is very important if you're wasting your vacations you are wasting your college life yeah this was all about the video i talked about everything which came to my mind and which i thought that i should share which would help you guys uh this was my experience i have experienced these things i have practiced these things in my college life and i think i have done decently well if you are a person who thinks that i will do well in college academics i will do well in dsa i will do well in sports i will do well in co curricular activities so i don't think so that can be done because i have not found a person who is consistently doing all these in my college trust me uh, there are some people who are doing very good at 3 so there are some people who are doing very good at 2 right so two or three is possible but i have not found a person who is uh, giving time to all four of these consistently every day you know who's going to sports and having a 9 plus cgpa no i have not found a person who is doing very good at clubs right and is having a very good uh, dsa thing no that is not i have not found a person who is very good at dsa and his very uh, extrovert no i have not found a person so uh, there is some trade off it is on you what to choose what not to choose okay so this was all about the video we will meet in the next one till then uh, keep growing keep learning and do subscribe to my channel like the video and do comment down any doubts if you have okay bye bye